My name is Brian Valdez. I'm the Executive Production Director for Guerrilla Union. I'm responsible for executing all the technical and logistical um, responsibilities for our shows and special events. That's part of my job is being around creative people, both musicians and, and professionals. The atmosphere backstage during a show, uh, it, it really takes on, I think your show in general takes on, um, takes on a certain personality. From the beginning of a show, it's normally really quiet, you know, and everyone's just kind of starting to come in through the doors. And as the day progresses, both in the audience and also backstage, the energy starts to grow. You know, more and more people are arriving, more artists are arriving, the press is arriving. So you start, you know, the, you know and of course, the artists are drinking, they're having a good time, you know, majority of the time. They're seeing their friends, their families. Um, you know, tons of, of uh, interviews going on. The energy starts to grow, you know, and it, it really becomes addicting, you know. You, you start to just feel this energy take over, and you want it over and over again every show, you know. That's one of the reasons why, you know, we, we love doing what we do. This Wu Ting show we did, first Rock the Bells at the Orange Show, you know, so many memories that, that uh, accompany that show, but um, I was on stage, and this was like the turning point in the show, is when Dilated Peoples went on, and at some point during every show, there's a turning point in the energy, it's where it just goes up a, a notch, you know, it went from like 30 miles an hour to like 100 miles an hour, just, there's always that one time during that show where the light switch goes off, and I was, we were doing the changeover for Dilated, and it was maybe around four o'clock, and uh, they hit the stage, and I remember just these chills that I just, over my entire body. Every show it happens at one point, but at this show it was so strong. I just remember from my neck all the way down, and it just was just like, whew. You know, I could feel it. There was just so much energy in that room, and when they hit the stage, there was just this overwhelming, like low end bass, they had hit hit this trigger and it just shook the whole building at that time and the people just were ready for it. They were ready to go and take it to the next level. And at that time the whole show ended up going through to the few had a chance to see the film, you'll you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, if you haven't seen it, go take a look. It's gonna be hitting uh, your DVDs. Uh, the stores soon. I think it might be on a limited release to theaters starting in May.